Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna do what I hope is a super simple John boat upgrade. We just got back from fishing up north and we were able to pick up several what I would consider bonus fish. And we did this by floating a bobber behind our boat while we were actively fishing with jigs and jerk baits and top water and all that other stuff. And we would float these bobbers behind our boat with live bait on them. We would pick up extra smallmouth, extra walleye. It worked really well. The problem though was that when a big fish would take it and hook itself, I would almost lose my pole. It happened more than once. <laughs> almost lost the pole. That's a smallie. Good gravy. I need a rod holder if I'm gonna be doing that. So I started to look for rod holders for boats that don't have them. My dad's smoker craft doesn't have a rod holder in it. And I came across this guy right here. This is a product by a company called Lunker Trail. I have no affiliation with this company. They're not paying me a, a, a dime, but it's a really cool little product. And what it does is it mounts onto cleats on your boat. And then there's a rubber band that goes around this and actually around the cleat to kind of lock it into place. And so I wanted to test this out because here in Illinois, I do a lot of largemouth bass fishing. That's a chunky one. Oh my goodness. That's a really good one. Ooh. <laughs> Floating a stick bait allows me to have a second rod in the water. Well, I haven't been able to do that. On the John boat, I installed what I thought would be a good rod holder, but I installed them vertically. The problem with this is when I put a rod in there, it holds it, but if, if the wind moves me at all, that line just, it just gets in everything. So I need something that's gonna hang over the side that I can install quickly when I need it. Problem is that on the John boat, I don't have any cleats. <laughs> that's a problem. So I picked some of these up. We're gonna do a real quick install today. It should take nothing more than a drill and a couple of screws. If you have a modified John boat where there's some wood available, this should be super simple. It's gonna be a little tricky because underneath this deck, the, the bracing, the supports, it's kind of like a waffle. It's made out of two by fours. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. When I install this, I don't want to block anything up in the middle of the deck because in a couple of weeks, we're gonna install a Minn Kota. I have a power drive sitting right here on the floor, which is worth about four times what this boat is worth. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, these were about 20 bucks a pop, which is super affordable. And then these cleats were, I think, six bucks at Walmart. So for about 50 bucks, we should be able to put two rod holders on this boat. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find where to place our screws under the deck here. Cause like I said, this is kind of a waffle uh, support system under here. We're gonna line this up and then we're just gonna drill some pilot holes. We're gonna put our screws in. And then we're gonna look underneath to see if we're in the wood or if we missed. If we missed, we're gonna back it out and we're gonna try again. That's in that stud. Ooh, ow. Yeah, we're in the studs because I just stabbed myself. Ooh, we're like dead nuts. Yeah, buddy. That's killer. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then we should be able to make sure that our rod holders fit. And if they do, then we're gonna be in business. The only modification that I would suggest, and I, I do highly suggest this, is that these rubber bands are, are pretty heavy duty. If this rubber band breaks, or if you don't have it, um, or if it dry rots, which is, which is a concern, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two of these little bungees and I'm gonna wrap these around the rod holder in addition to this rubber band because I'm a psychopath and I like to overdo everything. So we're just gonna double down on that to make sure that that's even more secure. It's not going anywhere. I mean, something crazy would have to happen before that would just pop out. Now, one thing I wanna point out about this rod holder is when you install this, you'll notice that it sits right above that cleat, which means that your rod can only go in that far. So you're gonna to wanna to use a rod that has a solid cork handle. I don't like the way that my split grips sit in this. This actually kind of pushes against the, the blank itself. I don't care for that. So I'm gonna use a rod with a solid cork handle and I'm only gonna use about a six footer. As long as the fish is just pulling straight down against this, it shouldn't cause an issue, it shouldn't pop out. This is a more secure option than laying it off the side of your boat, which is what I was doing up north. But you just wanna be mindful of, of what you're putting in here. 
I'm gonna link to a video that you should check out if you have not seen this yet. Swelling is down about 75%, I would say. And thank you guys for all the nice comments, the emails, I get a lot of nice messages about this. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling pretty good. So, hey, tight lines and Godspeed, Patriots. We'll see you in the next one, later.